Hello. Hey. It is I, Jeffrey K. Horcrims. Oh my God. Uh, your internet friend. <laughs> um, but I don't know. It's very tasteful. The pumpkin has its own spot. But also, apparently, the commander. Uh, of the Odyssey, which I guess is a spaceship. When you showed me this game before, it was like a three-ring binder, <laughs> yeah. and there wasn't any art. Okay, yep. I never in a million years did I imagine that we were going to be engaged in a game like this. I am so uh, excited. Oh, this is going to be Bonkersville. Uh, We've been so, waiting a year since the well, last stream that true, we did with but, Chris, but, but Chris and, and Julia, Julia. Chris and Julia, you were here on this very stage mm-hmm. before, <clears throat> mm-hmm. but... This is this is yours, right, Julia? Yeah. yeah this, this is, is your baby. This is something that I came up with uh, four years ago. Now uh, we came up with the basic, I think, plot, the basic, mm-hmm. you know, worlds and, and characters and whatnot. It's the, kind of, the IP. The IP. Yeah, and it's kind of stayed the same since then. It hasn't really changed all that much. It's gone through a lot of inter- iterations, gameplay-wise, but uh, we still kind of kept the same characters around. Yep. So plum really plims. Cool. Blum blim, yeah. We're there from the very beginning. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I was like, I need something cute. Yes. <laughs> every, every IP has to be founded. Like, that's the seed yeah. crystal of an IP. <laughs> it is an incredible product for young people to fall in love with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I have to... So everybody has a bunch of shit... There's lots going on. ...in front of them. So do you want to give us... Do you want to give us the basic rundown of your four-year game fantasy... <laughs> Uh, and then we can show people what it looks like to crew a spaceship together? Mm -hmm. Sure. So the commander is in charge of the storybook. So you will have the storybook in your hand, and that is uh, the whole story for the Odyssey's games. This is my brand. This is your brand. You'll be reading uh, from the storybook. Um, You actually get to decide who reads. Oh, that's right. Uh, Really? Okay, pass it around? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be me. (laughs) (laughs) We already know that, that Jerry will want to read. Um, the navigator, which is you, Eric, uh, you will be in charge of placing things on the map. Oh, you, we're you so. This. this is going to be a lost cause. <laughs> cards like in the yeah. space. <laughs> um, and you this can see awesome. that beautiful map of yeah, the that we have there. The art is gorgeous on this. Yeah, this is a very different. This is a very different look. <clears throat> yeah. Like the first Asmati games that I played. <laughs> Playtest. Yeah, there's a lot of. I mean, there's no programmer mm-hmm. there technically. But there's it's these they were pretty like they were very mechanical games and you mm-hmm. played them because they were mechanical. This looks amazing. I don't mean that to be like an insult. No. <laughs> but no, a lot no, of I totally a agree. lot of your games have black and white icons with yep. some text on there. And this is like a watercolor fucking realm. This is crazy pants. No, it, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, uh, we're super psyched about it. Um, yeah. And then you, Chris, is operations. You'll be handling all the cards and whatnot, uh, the quests, the momentum. Oh, and action cards. Very important. Oh, okay. um, and so, then, so the responsibilities are like, the responsibilities yeah. of playing the game, everybody, it's all broken down. Yep. Yes, yes. Um, and then finally, me as the information officer, I have the lure in my hands. <laughs> uh, so when we have any kinds of questions about what's going on in the story, kind of background information, kind of just letting you know. Um, I'll have the almanac here, and I'll also be keeping track of uh, all the quests that we have Very cool. and where we are at the point of the story. Yeah, because uh, Julia has one of the most important parts of the Odyssey uh, components, which is your passport. Oh, look at that. Uh, and your passport is where you store your save files in every game. Oh, so uh, it's, it's not you don't have to play through the whole thing. It's, it's exactly. understood that this is an epic journey, right, and right. It's not, it might not be one night. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the game is divided into, uh, well, the box comes with four different stories. Right. Each story has many chapters, and a chapter is a, you know, half hour to hour gameplay bite. And when you're done with a chapter, you can set the game down and put your thing back in your passport and move on to the next one uh, next time you sit down, or you can just keep going right then. Um, And you have all the information you need to continue based on. Well, and so this is, this is story four. Is there a reason why we're using story four and not story one? Why do we pick, this is just, we just picked a number. (laughs) (laughs) Let's not okay. start from the beginning. Well, it works for me. I mean, this mm. is this is Star Wars. Thousand and one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they started. They started. It was no problem for yeah. them. Uh, so, so thousand one odysseys. Uh, they start with blast from the chloroplast. Mm. Um, Amazing. And I'm, I mean, obviously, bad. as your commander, <coughs> uh, I mean, histori- yeah. historically, I would just I would just take the four, but I don't know exactly what that means yet. So should I should I read Actually, the? 
intro paragraph? Is that how we get down? Before we get into yeah. that, do you guys want to talk about the website oh, yeah, and yeah. what that does and what, oh, what sure. it's going to, uh, what, your, so, what the uh, people are going to be able to do with it? Yes, thank you. So uh, we just launched <coughs> plumplim.com today, spelled like plum and plim, as you might expect. Uh, and that is sort of our portal for the Thousand and One Odysseys universe. This is going to be on Kickstarter in about two weeks, just before PAX Unplugged. Uh, and somebody in chat actually asked if these will be d available to demo, and they absolutely will. We have a booth uh, in the Expo Hall. We'll be playing Odysseys all weekend long. Nice. Just look for the pink, um, or purple carpet. Just look for the purple carpet <laughs> and all the, the and, and him. Um, <laughs> or her. I'm not actually sure. I think we decided. Plum Plum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, plumplum.com also has a daily or bi daily choose your own adventure where um, we're telling the backstory of the journey of the Odyssey. Uh, so the Odyssey is a starship from Earth. Uh, it's filled with humans, and it's the first interstellar craft. And it kind of gets lost in space in this weird sector of the galaxy uh, called Insula. And you're going to be able to make choices in that Choose Your Own Adventure website uh, each day and affect the canon lore of the game uh, as the Kickstarter is going on, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. So it'll run for the duration of it, yep. basically? Like, yeah. after, after the space of a month, yeah. you'll have your canon yeah. lore. Yeah. That everybody's contributed to. Yep. Exactly. And played through, essentially. The first decision's about cake. <laughs> <coughs> That's <you>. fantastic. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Done. So, Where would you like cake? Yeah. Yes. As all classic stories do. All right, so if so we have to begin, you would yeah. uh, open up the book and read the story introduction on page the first. Can do. Uh, story four, Blast from the Chloroplast. Uh, so some, hold on, before I start this, somebody had mentioned that it's mm -hmm. something like Sherlock Holmes or like the... A is that bit. true? Because that's like my favorite shit. Yeah, in, in terms of how the game operates, there's not like uh, any complicated mechanics. We're deciding where to go and just what to see next. Um, so it, it, it works the same like that. Like we're all a group sort of working together. Uh, all right. All right, everyone. Get ready. Uh, all is quiet on the Odyssey <laughs> until the ship needs its routine inspection to continue its journey around the Federation. Emissions, right? Mm -hmm. um, the mechanic at the Lucky Landing spaceport tells you it should be an easy process. I don't know why they didn't do it when you first arrived in Insula. Uh, but it's not that easy. Um, says the mechanic, your ship is in violation of over 50 environmental regulations. What have you been doing? <laughs> uh, listen, talk to the I'm Greens. navigation. So where is, is, where is, is there an engineer around here for us to hate? Uh, I think it's the Plum Plum. Okay. Well, that'll explain a lot. If we have a vegetable in charge of this, yeah. that's the totally. issue. Uh, uh, I think I saw thrusters like yours in a museum once. Uh, you ask if she could upgrade your ship. Oh, not me, she says. You need the Plum Plim for this one. Oh, maybe they are good at it. Uh, she hands you the business card of a Plum Plim named Molia Thagden on Brumagum and slaps a sticker on your ship door. The sticker, she tells you, will alert Federation authorities that your ship is unauthorized for travel to anywhere but Brumagum in order to make the necessary repairs. Back on board the Odyssey, the main view screen glows purple and red, displaying the seal of the Federation. This can mean only one thing, an official message from Federation headquarters. The message plays and a robotic voice shouts, Note to, Notice to captain and crew, we have been informed that vehicle emissions testing ha, is overdue <laughs> for the Odyssey. To renew registration of this vehicle, it must comply with Federation-mandated emissions requirements. Are we in California? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oops. There's really no way you can avoid this, is there? The message continues. Proceed directly to the nearest inspection facility under penalty of law. Nearest facility to your location is the reporting pauses, and a completely different robotic voice completes the sentence on Brumagum. Mm. To Brumagum it is. All right, now, so then this has a bunch of Orders it does so for each type of person exactly right so I'll just I'll relate this nav yes captain add the Bruma gum map to your play area look so at that look at how it. efficient well, I am did it. yeah you did I it already you knew what you were going to ask of me you did a great job I mean this is why I've been I've been asking for a promotion for like three years <laughs> this now. is why you are so successful and rich now uh, info uh, yes. open the passport to passport. story four chapter one mm -hmm. we already oh, have super it. cool nice comms. Uh, Commander, it's Yep, yep. Uh, continue to chapter one, a good mechanic. Yes. So at this point, uh, you could ask the information officer, what is Brumagum? Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a couple, there's a couple or what are, whack oh, ass words. Oh, okay. Well, what, are, what are plum plums? What are... Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. What's broom of gum? Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Information officer? Yes. Uh, can you tell me about the Federation? I can tell you about the Federation. Um, so the Federation is the collection of, you know, various species that uh, inhabit this part of Insula. There's about a dozen of them. Um, and they all get along fairly well. They've kind of set aside their differences, uh, but they're a fully functioning um, governing body. And Brumagum is one of those members of the Federation. Okay, cool beans. Is Brumagum the planet of the Plum Plum? Brumagum is the homeworld of the Plum Plum. Yes. Okay, perfect. I love that there are mechanics that are, <laughs> they are going to be fixing our ship. Well, I think that is so cool. Can you? Like, can I'm visualizing Well, no, that. no, this works. No, can you look in the Galactic Almanac yes. and tell me about, <laughs> tell me about uh, Plum Plums? I mean, is this, Plum-tums. is this the sort of thing we want to yeah. leave our engine to? Yeah, right? Like, it, like what if his leaf gets stuck in there somewhere? This is an me? example of a plum plum. You can see she has uh, some sort of flower tool with her. I think she looks raring to go. Okay, a tool definitely yeah. seems yes. like a good indication. Yes. <laughs> Solid they, start. They are sentient root vegetables. Um, <laughs> they grow to be about three feet tall. So oh, that's okay. kind of a little smaller version, the plushie. This is, this is a youth. Yeah. This is a youth. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, they are the sector leaders in conservation and agricultural sciences. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. That makes sense. Being plants themselves. Yeah. They have kind of an intimate relationship. So how do they get that. into mechanics? Um, you know, I feel like every member of the Federation has to have at least at some least one basic starport. knowledge yeah. of how to pioneer Yeah, yeah, it's like you must be this high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Well, yeah, it's like you don't get in- accepted into the Federation until you can make a ship. Yeah. Yeah. And they just got really They're good the, at it. The organic technology. Though. Yeah, it's great. Must fly ship. It's true. Uh, anything else I should know about Brumagum? Um, Brumagum is a jungle planet. Uh, but you can see on the map, it's more purpley mm-hmm. than green. Mm-hmm. Um, and as I said before, they are the sector leaders in conservation and agriculture. So a lot of the plants on the world are bioengineered or created by them in some way. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm seeing some. I'm seeing parts of these cities here sort of growing in lotus pods. Yeah. Or exactly. So okay. kind of everything that they make is organic or plant-like in some way. Well, even the roofs of the houses are covered in shrubbery. Mm-hmm. Don't Maybe they are shrubbery. Oh, yes, the panthers. The what? There are vicious panthers that live in the outskirts of the jungle. Oh, but, but, it's so pro- it's like, but I was just going to say, but it's probably fine for plum plums because they're not meat. Well, it depends. Are they just mean panthers? <laughs> they're just mean panthers. <laughs> but they, they kill for sport. Well, these are alien panthers, remember, so they might go for different things oh, than what Earth true. panthers might go after. That's right, our it's terrestrial Western. panthers. Yes. Um, all right, is everybody ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Chapter one, a good mechanic. You land in a small village on the edge of, on the edge of Cirn uh, and call the mechanic on the card. Sure, I can fit you in tomorrow, she says. You hear a long, loud crunching of metal from the shop. Too much to finish tonight. Just come by my shop in the morning and I'll help you out. You park the Odyssey next door and settle in for a restful night of natural gravity. In the morning, you look for the local department of multidimensional vehicles in the mechanics yard. The shop in front has a bright, friendly sign which says Pollet Ship Service, Ooh. spaceships, race ships, and other vegetable vehicles. You see ships in various states of disarray along with large piles of leaves and tubers. All you need to do is find your mechanic, pay her the fee, and wait for her to upgrade your ship. All right, now, uh, navigation. Mm-hmm. Add location card BG1 to yep. the map. Okay. Yeah, so you have a stack of location cards there, uh, oh, and they're all cool. numbered on the back. Yep. So you take that card, and it will line up someplace exactly on the map, the, the picture on it. Uh, and oh, that it will. Sort of locks into place. So where am I? So we're near CERN in the middle, so it's, uh, it's over there. So looking for this cap. Right. Is this the cap here? Yeah. Oh, it's it's there's gonna be a red cap. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. You get it? Yeah. Weird. Very cool. Wait, so is that that there? You get the bottom of the landing pad there, I think. Landing pad. The big landing pad. There. Uh, move it down a bit. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Uh, and then that locks into place, and that's yeah. the location we can go to. I see. So that's the intergalactic spaceport plus mechanics yard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's icons on there, and those right. are important. Yes, yeah, so I'll go over those in just a moment. Okay. Now, uh, information officer, add yes. quest one, find a mechanic to your passport. Added. So a here. Good mechanic. Oh, yes. 
Uh, quest one is find a mechanic. Find a mechanic. Okay. Uh, ops. Yes. Add quest card one to your quest board mm-hmm. uh, with locked cards in slots two, three, and four. Doing that. So what does that do? So uh, the quest boards represent the things that you're trying to get done. Um, and there are slot throw momentum, which mm-hmm. is the sort of the progress you're making towards getting information or completing the quests or yeah. sort of getting stuff, yeah. Uh, and the locked slots uh, are just showing that some of the slots aren't used right now. Uh, generally, we make progress on a quest whenever we fill up the board. So we'll just oh, need okay. one thing oh, so we're to close. make progress. We're close already. Well, here, uh, Ops, you're also supposed to add action yes. card E, uh, talk, contact, yeah. to quest card one. Uh, so the action cards have different icons on the sides of them. Yes. Uh, and these line up with the icons over there on the Oh, locations. right, the mechanic yard. Right? Um, so this talk icon has a little down arrow on it, representing it the contact idea. Uh, yeah. So that means that when we want to do something, uh, is that all the stuff on the... That's all the stuff for this so far. So um, we've done the introduction, so now we can actually do things in the universe. So to do a thing in Odysseys, you need to have a quest, an action, and a location. Okay. Uh, and you get those three things from all the information we've got. So we have quest one, mm-hmm. find a mechanic. Uh, we have an action attached to it, talk. Yeah. So we could talk to people about finding a mechanic. Anywhere on the board we can find that down arrow. All right, so that basically means talk to a contact of some yeah, kind. Yeah, exactly. So... To do that, you're going to place that blue bobble uh, on the dot for the location, wherever we're going to do it. In this case, there's only one thing to do. This mm-hmm. is kind of like a Talk tutorial, you say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And what we're going to do in that booklet is look up the right paragraph. And we do that by combining the letters over here on the quest card. So I've got E1, and then we're going to use the coordinates on the map for where that bobble wound up. So it would be I4-ish? You are I4. Yeah. So each card has a crosshairs on it, so you yep. can tell whether it's below or above the nearest line. Oh, um, interesting. So yeah, you're going to look up E1, I4. This is whacked out, dude. <laughs> E1. And that's, that's the entire rules of the game, really. Mm-hmm. That's all you have to do to go through the story. Is put out more cards, read paragraphs, and okay, see what happens. Because when I saw the booklet, yeah. and I saw like specific places named, I was like, oh, well, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward, like... Piece by piece, you just walk mm-hmm. into it, but that's not actually how it works at all. Yeah. Like, it's just a database, really, that we're right. navigating mm-hmm. with the game mechanism. Yeah, so all the right. name's on there as a confirmation, so it should say uh, Mechanics Yard. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, E1, I4. Yep. The Mechanics Yard. Uh, last night, the Mechanics Yard bustled with the whirring and sawing of plum plum tools. Now, every screwdriver and wrench sits motionless. No one has even switched on the workshop lights yet. A violet plum plum. Uh, wearing a pink bandana dozes on a patch of moss next to the shop. Her name tag says she is Molia Thagnan. She must be your mechanic. You gently shake her arm to wake her up, but she only looks up for a moment with her eyes still half shut. Not now, Grandpa, she murmurs. Damn, You're... Molia. What? I'm late for my biology test. I am not your <laughs> grandpa. There's a lot of, I think, very straightforward <coughs> visual information. I feel like Molly is a little drunk right now. Oh, I mean, like, gonna, like let's talk. Let's talk about this. Is this is this a plum plum, plum plum? We want to really be messing with, associated with. Yeah. So hang on here. Uh, I'm late for my biology test. She nods off again, gurgling through drool. You knew that plum plum enjoyed their leisure time, but not this much. You wonder why a highly recommended technician would fall asleep on the job. I suspect that something else is going on here. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, no, listen. That's that's my prerogative as the commander. It's true. Um, uh, ops, set quest one, slot one, to observation. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. yes. So there are all these different cards uh, called momentum cards, okay. uh, which have different letters on them. So there's observation, engineering, knowledge, insula, athletic, general, biology, and athletic. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you ran somewhere and got a thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and when these momentum cards go into slots, they represent the stuff we did. Yeah. We just found out by observing that something is up with our mechanic. Definitely. Uh, and in the process of doing that, we have filled up this first quest board, so it's time for progress. That's great news. How yeah. does it work? So, in the blurb book, we're going to look up Q1 O L L L, because those are the momentum cards that are on our quest board. Oh, cool. out. Oh, okay. So what does it do? Does it send us to a new... Uh, the X's are in the back. Yeah, I was just going to say, so that's back here. Yep. Oh, super cool. So all, okay. the ba- all the basic stuff is out here, mm-hmm. yeah. but then certain things that we found... All right. Q1-O-L-L-L? 
Yep. So it's X111. X111. Um, your mechanic, who is supposed to upgrade the Odyssey, has fallen asleep and won't wake up. Maybe someone around here can find a replacement. If you can't find a mechanic near the spaceport, perhaps someone near the busy town center of Pollitt or the residences of Watergum Acres can recommend one. Navigator. Yes. Please Captain add Hope. location card BG02 to the map. Oh, super cool. This looks like it goes up here. Mm -hmm. Looks like it, yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Look at that. Oh, we're so much better oh, at this. Oh, I know, time, right? <laughs> That's wow. so cool. Look at that. Oh, look at even the uh, the lettering. Yeah, it all does. Um, mm -hmm. Blends right in. See how it's like oh, suburb? No, it's dope, kid. It's dope. Now, Ops. Yes. A lot of work for you here. You're going to earn your keep today. I'm ready. Uh, uh, remove action card E, talk from quest card one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, add action card B, talk, passerby, to quest one. So that's this uh, speech bubble there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, indeed, one of the other icons. Yes. Now, remove the locked card uh, from quest one, slot two. So right. now... Oh, can we, we add... We have a different progress we can make. Exactly. So now we can continue to push forward, mm -hmm. and then as soon as oh, that happens... Oh, finding the next mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And as soon as that happens, that's going to give us another... Uh, four-letter code, right, which right. will uh, resolve in another cool. way out here, right? That's super fun. Is it, what is it like if you're a game designer <laughs> and then people get it? Uh, it's, it's great. Yeah. Uh, is that, is, is yeah. that nice? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like when you see the light bulbs go off, like that's got a feel. You guys got it really quickly. Well, we're very smart. Uh, <laughs> so I got so, a couple questions that popped up. Yeah. yeah. Mine. So somebody asked, is this similar to Arabian Nights? Uh, it, it is. We were actually inspired largely by Arabian Nights uh, really? originally. Well, it's, it's called The Thousand One Odysseys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that was like the premier paragraph game back in the 80s and right. Z-Man reprinted mm -hmm. it about 10 years ago. Uh, and also, somebody asked about what age range, um, and this game is good for, I would say, any ages, uh, as long as there's an adult running the game. You know, if you had kids that are five, six, seven, they're not going to be yeah. able to handle the board, but a kid at the table would be fine. There's not anything uh, adult content-wise. No, no, life. but the tone is yeah. the tone is really fun and light. Yeah. So yeah. my suspicion is that you could definitely play this as the fam. Yeah. Like, well, especially with the plum plums, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, like no. it's such a cool little... <laughs> no, 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 but my daughter Ronya could... Could I think it really depends on what uh, what station a person yeah, what is role, at, yeah. Yeah. right? I mean, you might want a grown up here in the command role. Sure. You might want a grown up on operations. Mm -hmm. But I think navigation and information yep. could probably be like I can see my daughter Ronya just like nailing either one of those roles. Yeah, absolutely, totally. Um, all right, so now. So what's next, basically? Uh, so we could talk to people about finding a mechanic okay. using the uh, speech bubble icon, which I believe oh, is on fun. all four locations. That are yeah. Out. Now we have a true choice. So many options. Wait, speech bubble. Oh, that's true. Okay, so any, any place we see a speech bubble, we can talk? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you can also ask the information officer about locations. Uh, really? Yeah. Yes. So which ones are the? Do you see speech? Oh, oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's, what it's is? A oh, oh, it's a classic. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, like, a, like yeah, an yeah, SMS yeah, yeah, yeah. type. Jeez, I completely missed <laughs> the that. The old days. I was looking at the magnifying glass and everything. No, no. Oh, no. this is fantastic. But that's not one of our options right now. Is to. No, use we don't the have magnifying, magnifying glass. glass right now. No. Yeah. So here, I just wanted to make sure that I can see the. Oh yeah, we're across the table, but it, yeah, it looks like uh, that guy right there. Oh, it's just, it's literally right there. You can yep. see what yeah. icon it is. Oh, and then, yeah, and then, so the those are the only actions is we can what take. The, uh, the B and the 1 yeah. line up. So. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh, Info Officer. Yes. Where do you think a good, where would be a good place to start with what you know about this um, planet? What would be a good place to start? That's a good question. Uh, shaking the trees. We have the Water Gum Acres. We have the Water Gum Acres. So, the Water Gum Acres is a farm that is run by the Bumble family, I believe. Okay. And they're a very uh, well known family in Pollitt. They're also in charge of the spaceport. Of course, the spaceport is where everyone kind of comes and goes. It's sort of like the landing space. It's good, good. You know, they know, who, they know the way to land. Yeah. Is that, is that Pollitt Central Garden? Pollitt Central, Central Garden. Garden. So the Pollitt Central Garden is kind of like the gathering place for everyone in Pollitt, and mm -hmm. they have this really cool like labyrinth maze made out of like hedges, and it's very good for tourists. And I we see. also have like the, the intergalactic spaceport <coughs> itself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So there so, might be a mechanic at the spaceport. Well, I think that's true, but I like, um, for me, so Watergum Acres, it's run by the mm -hmm. Bumble family, and they have access uh, they also run the spaceport, is that right? They do, they're mm -hmm. in charge of the spaceport. It's, they would know who to go to. I feel like that's, I feel like we should tap into that yeah. if we want to. If you, if you want to know where to go, go to, go to the, the top, right? Navigator, yep. uh, please take us to Watergum Acres, if you would. All right, so now that we are here, yes. uh, 
And we did that because there is this symbol mm -hmm. over there. We know that we're supposed to do it. Now we build. Right, so uh, we're gonna go B1 and then whatever the coordinates are that we're at. Oh, okay, so it's B1. Shit, it's like right in the middle. <laughs> it's four. L3? Should be K4? K4. It's where the dot is. The dot. Oh, it's where the dot is. Yeah, yeah, the, the token we is where you are. Oh, the dot. I'm thinking yeah, of the middle of that. Okay, yeah, yeah, because okay. there's, there's crosshairs yeah. on the card to show that you're in that quadrant, so okay. it's much easier. Yeah. So K4. Yeah, should we be B1, K4? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Watergum Acres. Yes. Well done, everybody. Um, good news. Uh, dozens of pink bulb shaped houses sit along the curving walkways. Uh, more houses grow overhead on tree branches as large as sequoias. What should a bustling plum plum neighborhood? Uh, what should be a, a bustling plum plum neighborhood is very quiet and very still. Hmm. Mm. Hoping to find someone who can point you in the direction of a mechanic, you approach the first house and find several plum plum uh, nest nestled in moss patches in the front yard, all asleep. They're just chilling. They're just like hanging out. Like that's that's great. Is it a problem with the moss? Oh. This is what I'm wondering. You prod a green plum plum with a stick. He murmurs, not now, I'm giving a speech to my class. But wait, where did my plants go? Oh no. <laughs> and then drifts back into rolling snores. Wow, these, these plants are getting... They're getting effed up. Here, ops, mm -hmm. if you would be so kind, please set quest one slot four to observation. Ooh. So, uh, sometimes the locked slots get overwritten by something else. Maybe yes. we found supplemental information. That's right. Uh, ops, mm -hmm. if quest two is not in play, mm -hmm. which it's which not, is not. Uh, do the following. Info. Yes. Add quest two. Learn about sleeping plum plum to your mm. passport. Okay. I like what I'm seeing there. That's cool. Ops, add quest card two to our quest board with locked cards in slots three and four. Mm-hmm. Ops, if quest two slot one is empty, Set it to general. Yep. Perfect. You've done everything. All right, so now, because we have more uh, talk zones, mm -hmm. we can go around. Now, if oh, we, yeah, because we don't have anything for we Quest 2 We don't actually have any actions on Quest 2. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so we're still, we are yeah. still in the investigation phase, right. Oh, right? Super cool. So... Theoretically, could we go back to the mechanics yard and try to talk to that plum yeah. plum again? Or there could be somebody okay. else there we, we come across. True. That right? Be, yeah. So we could actually, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So let's we do could, it. Let's yeah, we could go back and then check it out again. And it's not tracking time or anything. No. Here, no. Right? Yeah, this is... The quests are, the quests are managing what needs right. to be done. Mm -hmm. so, so this is not a game that you win or lose. Uh, you're not competing against Sherlock or uh, and there's not a monster that's going to eat the whole crew or anything. Yeah. Uh, it's very much a game that always pushes forward to some sort of interesting, different way. So there's not a right or a wrong choice. There's just two different fun things that could happen. Um, and that was one of our core design ideas when we were writing stuff. Definitely. You know, it's an interesting, different take. Yeah, it's an adventure Because usually there's a the right choice and the wrong choice mentality with a lot of choose your own adventures. Oh my and, gosh. Because yeah. trust me, we have, we spent we played all of Mythos Tales. Right, right. Oh god, that one fall that one floors. tale where we fell through the freaking floor. <laughs> we played all of Mythos Tales online. We played a significant percentage of Sherlock. Mm -hmm. And it, the, the there's definitely it's definitely nipping at your heels. Right. All right, so mechanics yard. So, yeah, we're, so, we're, so, uh, so hang on, let me let me see oh, if we sure. can let me see if we can figure this out. So it's gonna be I four. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And it's 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 B one over here. Yeah. Uh huh. B one. I four. Ha! I think this worked. Mechanics yard. Um, nav. Yes, Captain. Add W. Oh, so add a white disc. Ooh. So uh, the discs, which stands for um, the decision, decision information, information storage. <laughs> chip. Chip. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, record certain things that have happened during during play. Uh, okay. And they're referred to in the manual as uh, colored circles with a letter of the color in them. Yeah, yeah, correct. Um, I guess you already knew that. Um, two young elements. For some reason, I'm like, I want to help you understand, but you are <laughs> I have already no idea an expert. Going. Um, two young elements uh, lean over the service counter. Mino and Minnow, at your service, they say. You ask them for a mechanic who can certify your ship according to the Federation Environmental Statute 4E1950. Oh, says Mino. You're humans? 
I can't believe you came all the way here from Humania. Wow, your ship is ancient, Minnow adds. I bet it doesn't even have an in-flight cold press juice bar. Hey, <laughs> we take our cold press pretty damn seriously on this ship. Very hurtful. You know? This is rough. This is hurtful anti-human propaganda. <laughs> Oblivious to your protests that the Odyssey is, in fact, a state-of-the-art vessel back on Earth. But two elements strike a pose clearly intended to instill confidence and awe. We can fix your ship, they say. Minnow and Mino, apprentice mechanics, off we go! <laughs> No. <laughs> Are they like back to back and they're oh, like yeah. folding their leaves together? It's like, like this is like some team rocket mm. shit. Yeah. They hand you an official looking leaf and head off to begin work. You overhear their conversation as they walk into the far back rooms of the shop. Hey Minnow, you know how Molia keeps saying only the plum plum mechanics can work on emissions repairs? Mino asks as she starts grabbing tools. I know, says Minnow. It'll be so fun to prove how far we've come. Oh, no. Oh, we're far. Okay, uh, information officer. Yes. Add item A, work order, to item your passport. A. So there's an item booklet. Clearly. Which has little discovery items like this work order. What? Oh, you have, hold on. So you have like um, feelies? Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's a little, uh, it's like a coupon book where you tear out the page to show that you've gotten the work order. And that's actually going to go in the passport uh, alongside... Uh, okay, well here. Wait, this yeah, is pretty dope. Yeah, let's here, see here, see here, see here read, read some of that stuff. Engine. Additional coolant checks required. Thrusters outdated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a set. Fail, 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 <laughs> fail. Uh, energy core. Incapacitated quadriceptor. <laughs> Fuel tank levels too low for glide. We're just F. What are, what are you even doing this freaking ship? Danger levels. Does it fly at all? <laughs> air is this a dream we're having? Emissions. Danger level? Catastrophic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, air quality testing overdue. Yeah. Okay. Constant state of red alert. <laughs> All right, here we Shields go. Shields improperly calibrated. All right, so <laughs> they are. are F. Okay, so and and now uh, Mino and Minnow are in the process of annihilating what's left of our ship, I guess. Mm -hmm. Ops, please set Quest One Slot Two to uh, Red Star Insula. Insula, yeah. Hold so, on. Uh, Pilot ship service. Yeah. Spaceships, race ships, and other vegetable vehicles. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that's that's the slogan. Uh, so the elements are yes. the species we just encountered. Totally. Oh, um, do you have any information we yeah, should know about do. them? Do so they look cool? They do. They look awesome. So there are these regal reptiles from the jungle world of uh, Jemenji. I got it. Oh yeah, awesome. That's why we got two. Um, oh, those are pretty regal. Wow. Yeah. Could that tongue out there? Yeah. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. They On use... their planet, is that okay to do? It's, oh it's yeah. Closer. Okay. <laughs> it's it's impolite not to. <laughs> yeah. If they use their if, tongue if, to like taste the air. If your tongue okay. is in, then so it's, it's, they're very snaky in that respect. Yes, they are. I got you. All right. Well, uh, okay. so we have filled up Quest Board One, uh, which is Q one O I L O, oil O. Ah. If you will, and you will. I have Oiko. Q one O I C L O I L O X three one sixteen. So oh, you always go to this part when you have filled the... Yeah, whenever, yes. whenever a row fills up, uh, some progress has been made. <laughs> Those apprentice mechanics were certainly confident in themselves, but you should probably find a plim plim mechanic who can review their work. There's no use looking for more mechanics until you figure out why the plum plim are sleeping. Ops, mm -hmm. remove action card B, talk from quest card one. <laughs> uh, now... Uh, ops, add action card A, look, to quest two. Ooh. Yeah, so this has the magnifying glass It edge. does indeed. Fun. Add action card B, talk, to quest two. So um, now we've moved completely down to the second right, right. quest. So, uh, so those are the two icons we're looking at. So totally. we can go almost anywhere. So if we go to the spaceport or Watergum Acres, we can search. And any other place on this map, we can talk. Right. We got options. Options. God, we certainly do. And some of these places have icons we've never even seen before. Yeah. I feel like, so So, what do we think? Uh, I feel like Paulette uh, Central, Paul Central Garden. Well, that's, yeah. Th because if that's actually like a place where a lot of Plim Plum are hanging out. Yeah, like are we going to are we gonna like wade through a plethora of <laughs> stoned well, Plim Plums? Well, I'm, I'm saying that that's <laughs> you know? probably the right, if we want to see a lot of Plim Plums together, yeah. that's probably the right place. So let's, yeah, I see Navigator, we, let's head over there. Yep. 
So that would be K3. And are we, we're talking or we're, we're looking? We're going to talk. We're going right. to talk, yeah. So we're going to have B2. Mm-hmm. And then uh, K3. K3. Yeah. I did. <laughs> awesome. Paulette Central Garden. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I, I've never seen. <laughs> well, here, here, here. Uh, I'm going to show the. I'm oh, gonna show, yeah. I'm yeah, going to show the street. Lots of things going on. So this one's kind of interesting. So take a look at this. Uh, you hadn't seen this before either. Mm. So there's there is currently no disc at this location. Mm. Oh, so then we just immediately advance to one of them. But look at this. Right. No, 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 no. We're, we're, then we go to X one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But look, if there's a white chip, you go here, and if there's a, a red or that's well, so cool. Or, or cyan Turquoise. chip, you go to the same one. That's okay. really yeah, that's so really based neat. on what's happened previously in the story. Oh, oh something. No. Yeah. Same page. So X126. X Alright, add white if you would. Oh, cool. Okay. You see a tall, reed thin mind weaver. What? I want to get that one queued up in Sure. <laughs> um, strolling through the hedge maze. Before you can ask her if she has seen any plum plum. She peers over the wall and says, Well, I think you look bizarre, too. I can hear your thoughts, you know. They're so loud. Before you can protest, she continues, scrutinizing you as if she had spotted an interesting caterpillar. I've never seen humans before up close. You're much shorter than I thought, although being so sturdy must have its uses, I suppose. And no, I haven't seen any plum plum up and about this morning. It's been very serene and quiet. Perhaps they've been feeling unwell and have gone to the recovery center. Just over there, she points. Navigator. Yes. Add location card BG04 to the map. If oh, you would yeah. B B G oh, we're skipping. Oh, what, what, what? What? Interesting. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So we could, have found some, we could have found something else. Oh, hey, Trin's in the chat. Hey, hey Trin. Trin. Hey, well, Trin. Trin is one of our writers. Oh, very cool. Oh, it's quite good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so really our, our writing team is uh, Julia here, Trin, uh, Sarah, and Alice. Um, wow. In various stages of different oh, things. Oh, look at that. Is that what that does? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that, that one, that's real fine. Is that right? Oh, no, you had it. You yeah, had it right. You, you, you did it in one. You had it. Oh, I think no. this, oh this there we go, right there. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that got bumped over. See, that yeah. got bumped. Yes. Yes. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, this is super cool. So I like putting things uh, on board. So the Mind this Weaver directed us over here to the Botanical Recovery Center. Have, have we, did we, did we investigate the Mind Weavers yet? Like, what are they uh, saying? No, no, did we, we haven't finished the, oh, okay. is yeah. there anything else or is uh, that it? There's more, oh yeah, yeah. We added that card, which oh, was okay. all there was. So, yeah. tell me about these Mind Weavers. So the Mind Weavers are really tall, uh, slender, they are bipeds. They almost look humanoid, but not quite. They're very tall and gray with really big bug eyes. Okay, so they're sort of like like the grays. Yeah. Like the yeah. classic <laughs> alien. Image loading. Image loading. Image loading. Ah, <laughs> of our everything. <laughs> That's great. With mild telepathic abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gentle. But, but Gentle. well, they tell us they're mild. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what they that's what they tell us. All right, well, she has directed us. Yeah. What's the She has directed us to the Botanical Recovery Center. I can't see what the problem would be there. Shall we go? Yeah. Okay. I think so too. So let me make sure. Let me let me try to verify it again. So. So we're looking to look at magnifying glasses or talk. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, so we can talk there. Yeah, we're going to talk there. So this is. I think I have this correctly. I'm mm -hmm. just going to verify it. Um, I think that this would be B. God, was it B B B two, J four? Correct. Okay. See, he can be taught. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you find a card. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, this is great. You find a card on the reception desk. It reads, for emergencies, please ring Bellflower repeatedly. <laughs> for non-emergency <laughs> symptoms, contact your primary care botanist. Um, so we can add a cyan token oh. to ring it repeatedly. Do we get to make a choice of what token we want to put no, on? No, no, hang on. Watch, watch this. We add a cyan token if we want to ring the bellflower repeatedly. We add a red token if we want to just ask somebody else. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? Well, I, th I think that there is... I think that anybody else in this reception area... I, let's say that we did ring the bellflower repeatedly. They're just going to be stoned. I think they just out of their minds. Uh, yeah. Moss. <laughs> yeah, and hi... What? No, it's just our, our Oh, ring that us. bell. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here. All right. All right, cyan token, if you would. We're ringing the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Bell ringer. So, X125. <laughs> uh, nav, oh. add C. 
Nice. Uh, an Elemens doctor scurries up to the front desk, ready for an emergency. She sees you and changes her expression, delighted to see someone else awake. You ask her what is happening. All the Plum Plum are asleep, she says. I can't find anything else wrong with them. Yeah, they're just stars. very sleepy. We know what it is. It's that, it's that moss. That moss. That, that's some fire moss. Uh, I can't find anything else. It's high CBD. <laughs> um, I can't find anything else wrong with them. They're just very sleepy. Here, I'll show you. She walks over to a Plum Plum orderly, snoring face down in the supply closet, and leans in close to his ear. Timothy. Your house is on fire, she shouts. Wow, she's The Plum Plum stirs up. briefly, murmuring, use a bucket, <laughs> before falling asleep again. Ops, if quest two slot one is empty, set it to general. Uh, it is not. Uh, otherwise, set quest two slot two to general. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that fills out that quest. It does. Uh, so that would give us quest two GGLL. Can do. X224. Your mechanic is not the only Plum Plum on Broomagum taking the day off. You have found Plum Plum asleep wherever you find them, and you're not the only one who has noticed. All over town, calls are going unanswered, workers are out, and very little seems to be getting done at all. As you reflect on the situation, an Elemens walks by, his brow pointedly furrowed. His tongue flicks outward to taste the air, and he abruptly stops pacing, turning to face you. Apophenia, off-worlders, he exclaims. Who wrote this? <laughs> Who's that? Trin. That's Trin. Yeah. Trin, you're awesome. <laughs> oh, Trin. You're all right. <laughs> Apophenia, offworlders, he exclaims, quickly adding, pardon my language, but you must come with me. Have you seen what is happening? You mentioned that all the plum plum are asleep. Precisely, he hisses. Precisely, he hisses. <laughs> the town hall should be full of plum plum. This is highly irregular behavior. Highly irregular. He points his ears sharply at you and flicks his tongue out once again, this time just a few centimeters from your nose. I'm Sarbon, the 4th District Controller, and you smell trustworthy. Please, find some help for me. There's so much to do. This is great. Hell yeah, it's great. Perhaps together we can solve this crisis. I'll be at, my town, hall. I'll be at town hall in my office. Come find me when you have a plan. You're not going anywhere until the Odyssey is repaired, so you may as well help this stressed out lizard man. Damn! All right, Ops. If mm -hmm. Quest 1, Slot 2 is empty, remove all action cards from Quest Card 1. It's not. Okay. Uh, oh, Ops, okay. remove all action cards from Quest Card 2. Whoop. Whoa, okay. Because it's, it's yeah. bumped, we right? We kind of figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> now, add location card BG03 to the map. Awesome. Now we got there after all. Ooh, this is... Hollow Town Hall, so it's going to be close, right? It's going to be over in this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's, I, I bet that's You see it's uh, yeah, some leaves. Yeah, see, see but of course, right? The Town Hall is going to be up in one of these weird plants. Yeah. Does that right? look right? Here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right there. Yeah. Oop, oop, oop. Ding, Ouija board. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Communications tree, jeez. This is balling. Okay. Um, info. Yes. Add Quest 3, get help for Sarbon to your passport. Quest 3. Mm -hmm. uh, ops, add Quest Card 3 to your Quest Board. This is very good. I like this. Uh, with locked cards in 3 and 4. Can we talk about Sarbon for a second? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I love that name. Sarbon. 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 Mm -hmm. Sarbon. You say? Uh, now, mm -hmm. uh, add Action Card B, Talk. Uh, passerby. Passerby, yeah. Are, are, those, are those different... Oh yeah, there's different edges on the side of talk because we might be looking to talk to scientists or to government people oh. or to dignitaries. Oh, okay, so that's the, depending this is on the, the most general one. Yeah, this is just talk to anybody, please. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> uh, to Quest Three. All right, cool. now it's up to us. So he wants us to come up there when we have a plan, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So there's lots of places that we can go, and so we have access right now to the talk icon. Yes, we can talk to anybody that we can, any place we can find a passerby, we can talk to somebody. Oh, okay. And that's okay. the speech bubble. And so the... God, we got a lot of places we could choose from. Now we're I just mean, looking for anybody to help Sarbon. Watergum Acres. Yeah, the Plum Plum in general are going to be... We could even go back to the botanical recovery thing. Yeah, we yeah, go maybe the, moss the now. or the spaceport. Well, yeah, but that, but that uh, so element... We could use the communications tree to call for help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, Every the place. communications tree is probably the smartest. Mm-hmm play, right? So, Navigator, if you'd be so kind. Yep. So that is going to put us up 
It's going to be L1. Uh, yeah. we're, we're quest B3 this B3. time. All right, B3. And it says that... So it's down here in the bottom. So the talk has a little B here, and the B. quest has a 3 on it. You goofs. And it's the same shape as the, uh, the icon. <sighs> you goofs. All right. B3, L1. Yep. Communications tree. Surely you can use the communications tree to call for help. No plumplum are here to operate the phone vines, so you look for something else you can use. On the desks, there are tiny instruments for tending the mic flowers, which send messages along the communications tree network. Miniature combs, dust brushes, mm -hmm. extra wide headphones for plumplum ears. You swipe a hand across the banana I need to, leaf. That art needs to be made. <laughs> yeah, well, it's there somewhere. DJ Plump Plum? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like one, Yo, one, DJ one, can, one can, yeah. just one can. Yeah, just like, <laughs> um, using a leaf to... Oh, yeah. yeah. A banana leaf in the center of the office, and the tiny text scrolls across it. It's the public record of communications for this tree. <sighs> <laughs> Do you want us to leave? It's just very smart. <laughs> it's just very smart. Um, a message which arrived <laughs> last night from the capital Cern uh, tells you about a trespass on, mm. but the rest of the message is blank. There are no messages from Cern since then. Uh, you try a few vines listed in the branch directory, <laughs> but no one answers your calls. You can't figure out how to work any plants that might let you speak with someone off-world. If there are ships in orbit, you don't know how to reach them from here. Even the pine cones arranged in semicircles in front of the windows seem to do nothing when prodded. All right, so that's Balin. But it also, to my mind, says we should be going over to Cirn. Right. Uh, if the communication, if something is broken between the communication mm -hmm. here and there, there's some kind of a trespass and then it got cut off. So if we go to intergalactic space, we're right, going to exactly. learn a lot. Yeah, and we, fast. And we can talk there, right? Because we have the talk. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. I say, I say we go so there. Kind of, there's yeah. no updates. There's no labor for anybody associated with that. But, so, so, yeah, so oh, yeah. Place, place our shit on there. So, intergalactic spaceport, we are talking about I. Yep, it's going to be I3. So, B3, I3. Mm -hmm. You realize the only way this gets better for him is if you make another map that's an ant colony <laughs> underground in, inside no, of a no, planet. No, 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 no. You should be able to play it on a on ant farm. Well, yeah, 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 exactly. On ant farm. Um, With magnets? Get yeah. to work. But, 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 but that would be the, like, the cross section of the planet, right? right? Mm -hmm. You would just oh. cut the planet in half and you're down below. Well, Listen. funny. We have something like that <laughs> in the works. All right, now, uh, B3, I3, Intergalactic Spaceport. You find the parking lot full of angry pilots. You ask if anyone can help as you walk from ship to ship, explaining the plum plum situation. <coughs> you think you got problems? We all have problems, says a Felici pilot. Can you get the Felici? Yes. Uh, wagging a finger at you. Are these your cat people? Those are the cat people. Nice. Awesome. I'm ready. Uh, my ship is full to the brim with Ella Menzian cheese and anchovies. Whoa, if hey. I can't get my plum plum buyer out here to move it by tomorrow, I won't get paid. And this whole pace part will stink like a Gamengian trash bin. <laughs> Do you have Gamengians? The Gemengi. elements are from Gemengi. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Uh, a Mindweaver captain laughs at you. None of the Plum Plum crews are here to unload the goods and cart it across Cirn. So we can't even find new buyers. No one here is going to help unless you can pay for the cargo they'll have to dump. He looks you over. I doubt you have that kind of cash. An older Elemensian pilot looks over you pityingly. Look, kids, I don't have room in my hold, but find another ride and get yourself to Avalonis, where the Federation government is. Those are the only folks with enough power to figure out this mess, she says. I'm sure you can figure it out. You look smart. Remove all action cards from Quest Card 3. Ooh, okay. So no more talky-talky, looks mm -hmm. like. Uh, add action cards D, Interact Tinker, mm -hmm. and E, Talk, Travel uh, to Quest Three. Right. So, uh, so those are the icons we can look for now. Oh, show, show, show them to the, yeah. the gathered throng. But they won't be able to see the icons on that because it's it's cut off. Oh, whoop. let me move mm -hmm. it up. Aha! Ah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. I, just, I just wanted them to be able to see what we're yeah, yeah. seeing out here. And in momentum slot one, uh, add. Uh, Set quest three slot one to conversation. Conversation. Wow. Oh God, okay. we've got options. We so could go back to the mechanics yard again, which we haven't done before. And oh, we have the, the uh, tinker. Felici too. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so hook us up with these yeah. cats. So the fleecy, as you already guessed, are these feline humanoids. They come from a harsh desert planet called Erevine. And they are most uh, excelling in the arts of warfare, song, and street fighting, like martial arts. The capoeira fighters? Cat, oh, capoeira. <laughs> capoeira. Capoeira. Done. Ah. See, this is, this, is, this, is why, this is why you're who you are. Now, uh, well, that's Ballin. Okay, so the icons we have now are travel. So we can talk to people about travel. So we can go or to the spaceport. Or we can board. interact with uh, or we can the tinker. wrench. We can tinker around with things we find. So we got that. We, we can travel, talk to people who travel at the spaceport. Mechanics yard, if we go there, has the um, the tinker. Well, currently, we, ha- we only have... I mean, looking at the full spread of what we have... We have two choices. We can talk about travel at the mm-hmm. intergalactic spaceport, mm-hmm. or we can tinker at the mechanics yard. I mean, those are really our only two choices right now. Mm-hmm. Is that, am I reading that correctly? Uh, based on what we have out, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, here, then let's go back. I mean, I can, I can see after that interaction at the, inter- at the uh, <laughs> spaceport, I can see us going back and just like trying to fix it ourselves. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's like these two uh, shim shams back here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So let's, let's head over to the mechanics yard. Yep, it's going to be I-4. And this is going to be, uh, we're interacting, this is D-3. D-3, I-4? Yep. I don't know what that is. Here you go. Mechanics yard. Interesting. You have an item A in your passport. It, is this item A? That is item mm-hmm. A. Here, if we if you have item A in your passport, uh, then we go to a specific. Oh, super cool. Uh, new reader. So this is X two thirty eight. Looking good. Get the uh, engineering card out, if you would be so kind. Uh, mm-hmm. You approach the counter and ring the bell for service. After several minutes, Minnow appears from the depths of the shop. Sorry it took so long, she says. We're completely tied up with the repairs. Well, Mino is still tied up. But the interstellar carburetor should be fixed soon. You offer to help with the Odyssey repairs, explaining you need it to fly off-world. Oh, that's a problem, she says glumly. Our shop sensors detected a sticker from the DMV when you landed, and it activated a safety <laughs> clamp on your ship. We don't know how to get it loose, and messing with it would get us in trouble. What about another ship, Mino shouts from the out of view. Molly is loner. Oh yeah, says Minnow. You can use the loaner while your ship is in for service. Just repair the end dive drive. <laughs> the end dive drive! <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, she could have written end drive. Could have. Mm. But then she would have been running the risk that somebody wouldn't get the pun. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know who's responsible for that. Yeah. <laughs> Just repair the end dive drive. Sarah. I don't know. And you, can auto- <laughs> oh, and you can autopilot to Avalonis. Ooh. Yeah. This, is that the cat? Avalonis, Avalonis is the Federation. Oh, that's uh, the Federation world. world. The other yeah. one is it's it also starts with A. Arabian. Yes. Yeah, um, it's out in the yard. Totally easy to fix up. Just put the tools back when you're done. A crash sounds from the back of the shop. Little help here. Mino's voice echoes as Mino Sorry. rushes uh, into the back to help. You are able to repair the end dive drive all on your own, but your clothes now have the faint whiff of chicory. The loner ship is now Ooh. ready to go to Avalonis. Ooh. Set quest three, slot two, to engineer it. And so that actually finishes that quest, right? It does. So, so do we read we, we progress, read the right? two three cell, C E L L. X233. You have a plan in place to leave Brumagum. You won't be able to contact Sarbon once you leave orbit, so you better check in with him before launch. Uh, up at Ops. Mm-hmm. Remove the locked card from quest three, slot three. Ops, remove all action cards. From quest three, uh, from uh, quest card three. All right. Uh, Add action card B, talk government, to quest card three. Right, so this is one of the other edges. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. So let's get up to the town hall. I was just going to say, in Follett, uh, or in Pollet Town Hall, Mm -hmm. that is the only place that has that icon. Yep, Mm -hmm. because, well, Sarbon's up there. Exactly. That is uh, is B3. B3. On L2. That's what it looks like to me. Yep. B3, L2, Paula Town Hall. The town hall entrance at the base of the communications tree is quiet. You peer around the lobby and see large paintings of past town leaders and vases of orange teacup flowers. Seats for several receptionists seem to grow up out of the floor, awesome. but no one is at work today. You walk deeper into town hall, searching the green pea cubicles. I like that. Mm-hmm. 
The serpent's probably like yeah. in the little sheath. Yeah, I know, right? Like you, just, uh, yeah. yeah, you just walk. Right I like in. it. Um, in the last cube, you come upon Sarbon talking to a bookshelf. He appears to be giving it a pep talk. You are smart. You are important. You are handsome. <laughs> and you will do a great job, he says, puffing out his chest. He takes a deep breath and turns around to leave the cubicle. And the bookshelf you. Like straightens up. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> you, he sputters. I don't know what you saw, but I'll have you know that I am now in charge of a crisis, and I'm doing the best I can, the best I can. What are you doing to help? Update. <laughs> uh, ops, set quest three, slot three to general. All right. Ooh, okay. Which means we've completed another quest. Right. And so it's now Q3... C E G L. Ah, super cool. 334. Sarbon listens to your plan and then asks, You want to go to Avalonis to talk to the embassy directly? Oh my goodness. Well, don't let me keep you. I don't even want to know how you got this ship. But please then, please tell them that I'm on my own. He waves you absently out of his office. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You hear him murmur. You hurry back to the ship and launch, heading for Avalonis as quickly as you can. Uh, info. Add Chapter 2, Away to Avalonis, to your passport. Oh, cool. Okay. Chapter 1 is complete. Clear all cards from play. You now have access to Chapter 2, Away to Avalonis. And so that would be a separate book. Oh, it'll only be one book, but yeah. Well, no, I'm saying that like that yeah. would be a separate story. That's, yeah, yeah. 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 chapter. Jesus Christ. So that's only one of the two possible ways you leave Chapter 1. Oh, really? Either really? you get access oh. to Chapter 2, Away to Avalonis, or Chapter 3, other title, which we won't mm-hmm. spoil for everybody. Uh, and so if I, but if I read furiously, <laughs> you could yeah, read yeah, furiously. Yeah. I want to know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, oh God! So where where I want to know what the decision tree was? Yeah, yeah exactly. Where, well, where like uh, my my guess my guess is that you can continue to befriend. Yeah. The recovery. Oh, in the space part, we never went and talked there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could have gotten. We could have maybe left the planet a different way there. Yeah. So uh, the the path through a story. Um, has several different branches of what chapters you go into. So you're not going to read chapters one through eight in order. You're going to go like one, two, five, seven, or one, three, four. That alone six, is going to blow people's minds. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's like a choose your own, yeah. choose your own adventure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's um, multiple tiers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so what would happen? So you'd give me that uh, the work order over there. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. <laughs> that went backwards. Yep. Uh, so our save file here gets the chapter data page that we just took. Yeah. It tucks into this folder. Uh, we've written down that we have the work order. We also put the work order in here. Yeah. And this is now good to go. We just know that next time we play, we could either do chapter one again, if we wanted to find the other exit. Yeah. Or we could do chapter two. That's super cool. And all the rest of the cards go away. There's nothing else that uh, has to be preserved from the game. All right. Game. Okay, man. Okay. Well, yeah, because the, the cards are these are just variables. Mm-hmm. So are there right. going to be there are more maps? Obviously, or there sure more maps. are. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say because this is just this, Broomagum. Yeah, this is just Broomagum. Like, I mean, next up is do you have Avalonis right there? No, this is actually a different world called Terragast, which uh, so you want to lay right you, on top. Of oh, that. this is the one. This is the uh, one we had painted last year. Yes, I remember you sending me oh. pictures of this. Ah, but we don't we don't actually know what uh, information <sighs> officer. Uh, yes. What creatures live on uh, Terragast? Uh, many creatures live on Terragast, but it's primarily inhabited by these hedgehog creatures called the Eglobites. They are not actually part of the Federation because they don't want to be. Well, well they're, they're, they're underground? <laughs> they don't live underground. Um, I believe the Munchers live underground. I say I believe as if I don't already know. <laughs> you may know. <laughs> I may know. I suspect. I suspect. Or Trin knows. Yeah. Trin might also Somebody know. Somebody might too. know. Yeah. So yeah, Terragast is actually laid out vertically. That is a big mountain. Yeah. Um, it was part of the stories that we were testing out last year. Uh, it's a different episode entirely. Uh, but yeah, there'll be um, several different landscapes that are part of these worlds? stories. how many worlds? There's lots of worlds. Some of them mm-hmm. won't be three pages. Some of them will be just you know, one page for a, a small mm-hmm. dip off to somewhere. Right, and then your BG, basically your... Yeah, this will be TG instead of BG. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, oh it's a whole new deck, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's lots of other shit. Oh, oh lot goodness, of... yeah, there's, there's like... There's all these different locations for Broomagum. God, and uh, you can be flying back and forth between the... Yep. I mean, that's a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's so... Wow, okay. All right, Yeah, cool. so the game gets distilled down to these, you know, half hour to an hour yeah. bites. Uh, right. Well, chapters is what we call them. Yeah. Uh, and you can consume them all in one big feast, or you can savor them across yeah. weeks of gameplay. So when, you, when you're going to drop your... 
Kickstarter mm -hmm. soon at Unplugged, you said. Yep, just before. So in your main box... Yes. There's four stories. Four full stories. So each, so Which, so, and each of those stories is multiple chapters. Right, right. Okay. So about 30 to 40 chapters of, of stuff, which will be organized into four main books. Yeah, um, so are you going to... Is your plan... Is it one of these, like, uh, stretch goal type things where you have other... Like, you have other stories that you could finish or um, worlds or... I mean, how do you see the... Because the concept is so... Yeah, yeah. The concept is so complete and you've had it forever yeah. in your mind. I'm just trying to figure out, like... How do you how do you expand it? Are you, are you like a fancy oh. you a fancier version? No, you don't, yeah. well, you don't even so have to stop. We just we just add more yeah. boxes. Right. I mean, uh, just because of the amount of weight that 400 pages is, that's what will fit in one box. Yeah, that's the, um, yeah. That's but we just true. add on more booklets, more maps, more things, more places to go, more adventures to have. Um, well, that's yeah, that's pretty startling, man. But the idea is that the main box will come with. You know, all of these cards are fairly standard. You'll need those for any episode. Uh, you well, need the discs. Well, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But when we add on a new planet, we just have to add on a map and a small deck of cards uh, for the locations going. Yeah, in. exactly. Because, like I say, the rest of these are basically just mm -hmm. like registers, right? right? I mean, it's just like a set of variables yep. mm -hmm. that connects back to this. Like, this is the easiest game to expand ever. Yeah. That's why it's great. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's why it's called 1001 Odysseys. Well, there you go. Yeah, it can, it can go crazy. Yeah. Oh God. Okay, so is there, any, is there anything else I want to know about this? Um, Plumplum.com? Yeah, so as oh. I said, Plumplum.com is where uh, you're the... Gonna, you're going to set the actual uh, Yeah, the setting, backstory. the background, uh, and that's where you can find out about the Kickstarter, which is going to launch, I think, either the Monday or the Tuesday before Unplugged. Uh, so number 26, I think, is what we set it at. So if somebody rolls through Unplugged, what can they play? Uh, they can play the episode we just played... Or the one you just exit. unlocked. Ooh. Oh, so we're opening. So anybody who's watching the stream, no, a way to have a bonus. <laughs> or anybody who uh, who watches the YouTube video later, yeah. can come in and give us the secret password of "I watched the stream." <laughs> oh, and they can and they can. We can just go this. right to the next part. They'll yeah, just yeah. go to chapter two. So they can grab the next chapter. Yeah. Oh, the next episode. All right. Because that because you know that way they can try something yeah. fresh that they haven't seen already. I love it. I really, really love it. Yeah, okay. we're super excited about this. This has come out uh, better than I could have imagined. <laughs> I, I had a really, really good time. Hey, so the um, the Anglobites? Anglobites. Anglobites. Yep. Do you have do you have art for them? Uh, uh, you can actually the see map. them. But, uh, I was oh, say, these are little. Uh, are, that these yeah. little yeah. are those these little munchkins down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what those are. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> right now, so last time you came, we played. Uh, Wonder, Wonder Dungeon, Dungeon the, 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 the expansion, the expansion. Um, and I heard tell uh, that you had a new mm -hmm. entry in that uh, experience. Is that accurate? Do you want to answer it some is, questions? Yeah, I just noticed we have a bunch of chapters. Yeah. Uh, Here, how many? I'll just read this and find the other exit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, how many pages of chapter one book you're reading from? I want to say... This is 20. It is 20 pages. It's um, 20, but I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. say, I mean, the text size is not. Yeah, so uh, a typical chapter, uh, chapter one is a little bit longer because of the introduction. Usually the ones that come are a touch shorter. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll be between 10 and 30 pages, mm -hmm. depending on what's going on. Yeah. Um, uh, and they have a mix of humor, seriousness. Um, our goal was Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah, I think uh, that kind of tone, maybe yeah. a little bit. Whimsy. Yeah. Whimsy, Whimsy, but with an edge. Uh, yeah. You know, your Undertales, your Hitchhiker's Guides, your... Well, yeah, I mean, the funny thing is, is that you could... It's like, this is the theme, obviously, for this, but if you did a hundred... you did 1001 Odyssey Nights... Oh, Nights. Sure. <laughs> you could make a... You could... You could make a really... Yeah, with this system, spooky, we can tell any story we well, want. Well, yeah, again, it's just... Yeah. We're just setting registers there. Yeah. Like, you could tell... Any kind of story, and I think that you should. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. once uh, assuming this does well, and I'm pretty confident it's going to do well, we're going to expand this system to uh, accommodate things that are more complex game-wise. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure there are stories that want to be told that actually want combat and complicated rules on top of it. But you could have a basic notion of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, it reminds me of something. Like something I don't like the game time stories. Right. But I thought the time stories did a good job of establishing a framework yep. right. mm -hmm. to, to that a person yeah, exactly. could use yep. to yeah. make a good game. Right. If they wanted to. Yeah, we which also have which a, they don't. a question from our downstairs neighbor asking if Ivy is a fleecy, uh, who is watching <laughs> the question. stream apparently. 
Hello, Nathan and or Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching our cat. Well, uh, yeah, and thank God for them. So you're going to show me your shit, man. Yeah, so uh, time for some One Deck Galaxy. Please yeah. show yes. me. Please show me. Uh, Here, and so I will gingerly... Got it. Yeah, I don't want to... Like, yeah, so we're going to need to do some setup business between the two, I think. Ooh. Wait, wait. Uh, tape. There's some tape? Oh, yeah, I taped that down so it wouldn't slide around too much. Um, you don't, don't worry Don't about you destroy this. Either. Right? <laughs> we have there's printed a, There's only things. one on Earth. There can be only one. Yeah. No more. Uh, no more. Whoop. Oh yeah, here. So we're gonna do a quick break. Uh, we're gonna scooch these uh, accoutrements uh, elsewhere, and then we're gonna take a look at uh, One Deck Galaxy. The official name? One Deck Galaxy. One Deck Galaxy. Yeah, let's do it. See you in a sec. We have played this game's predecessor on the show, mm -hmm. yeah. and we're deeply obsessed with it. Like, did campaign play? Yeah. Like maybe took up all of our writing bit. time. <laughs> I'm certain. No, you don't yeah. understand. No, this, for real. Yeah. Like, but like legitimately figured out maybe seven games in, <laughs> like how sophisticated some of the yeah. dice interactions are. There's like a button mash version of it where you roll a bunch of dice and then just try to make everything flat. But there is another way, like once you start getting the right equipment right. and spells, it starts to get. It's pretty deep. Yeah. Really, really There was this moment of clarity that kind of fell over us when we realized, oh, wait. No. We have more choices. We can <laughs> do this a different way. It's true. It's true. So so hook me up with this. So we had actually talked about yes. this exact thing. We did, the spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at Pax East. Mm -hmm. Right. And you were talking about like a cipher, and I was like, well, what if what if this and your other, like, and, and Thousand and One Odysseys, like, mm -hmm. what if it was all of a piece? Yeah, and we, we thought about it, because initially I'm like, no, that'll never work. Uh, and then we talked about it a bunch, yeah. and we have all of this world universe built. Why am I making a whole second cadre of aliens mm -hmm. when I have a beautiful set of well, them Especially right if these here. aliens are going to be kick-ass. Yeah. Exactly. They got these cat fucking ninjas. Yeah, we got, got the Felici, the elements. Yeah, these, yeah. these snake dudes. So what we decided was, so the Odyssey, uh, Thousand One Odysseys tells the story of the humans arriving in Insula yeah. and meeting everybody. What One Deck Galaxy is going to tell is the story of the formation of the Federation. Oh, the Federation itself. Mm. So the Federation doesn't exist yet. You're all just disparate peoples who have just reached the stars. This is Discovery. This is, this <laughs> is uh, yeah, One Deck Discovery. Uh, <laughs> uh, but oh, available on a better streaming service. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pitch. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so, but in this case, just like we used to play the other one, we can play cooperatively. Exactly. And, and you must. But it's tentative. Right, as these, these young races, yeah. you know what I mean? Right. Like, things could still go awry. Right. right. Listen, so, just because I'm a space pirate <laughs> demon doesn't mean yeah. we can't yeah. work together. So instead of um, a individual hero, you represent the entire people uh, that are on your yeah. civilization card. Yeah. Uh, um, That's a lot of pressure. And you've yeah. selected the Plum Plum and the Tim Tillowings, which yeah. is one of the races we did not see in that episode of uh, Thousand One Odysseys. But uh, you want to tell us about them a little bit? Sure. Yeah. Um, actually, Jerry, you had a really great word for it. Uh, space pirate devils. I yeah. mean, that's kind of what they are, you know, mm -hmm. in, in a cinch. Uh, but uh, I think to expand a little bit on that is that they're probably, I don't know if I would say they're the most powerful race in the in Insula, but they, are definitely, so. they definitely have the firepower available. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that's keeping them back is kind of their, they're very impulsive peoples. They, they have a very impulsive yeah. nature. So they never really get to kind of follow through on whatever they want to do. But, but it also has some kind of a moist parrot yeah, analog. Yeah, what is this it like? It does. Um, I don't think we actually ever came up with a name for that. Oh, we have not We didn't name this I think thing. we could call it like a slime parrot. A splarrit? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 just like <laughs> completely just own it. Yeah. Just, just say it's a slime parrot. Slime parrot. It's a slime parrot. <laughs> it's like they don't even know about the bird. That's just what they always call yeah. it for some reason. <laughs> Um, all right, so so hook me up here. Yeah, so uh, in One Deck Dungeon, you play against a boss that lives in a dungeon. Indeed. Uh, in One Deck Galaxy, you have a continuous adversary, uh, and there are several choices, just like Dungeon. In this case, we are up against the Nebel Wuber Colony <coughs> Fleet. The Nebel Wuber, spoiler alert, are part of the Federation in, in the future times. Oh, but so at this no. point, they are antagonists because they. They're aquatic folk, and they think they're entitled to all the planets, and they have a colony fleet that's just trying to take all of them. Nice. Um, sure. So uh, instead of a dungeon, they sit out the entire time, and they modify every phase of the game. 
uh, in some subtle way. And each of the different adversary cards does that in a different way. That's wicked. Uh, so these are actually much more different than the dungeon uh, dungeons were. Well, because they're shifting it. I mean, yeah. what would happen before was that the deeper you'd get down, it would become more complex, right, the numbers right. would go up, and then there'd be a big shift sometimes in gameplay in terms of like mm -hmm. a stated rule or piece of text yeah, on this, the boss. This is yeah. altering the basic way you travel through the stages. Yep. That's a really good idea. Okay. So let's just uh, let's just jump in, because that's yeah, the yeah. best way to go. I'm down, I'm down. So uh, every turn in One Deck Galaxy, and it's like mm -hmm. Dungeon, you take a shared turn, uh, is split into four phases. There's discovery, gather, action, and cleanup. Okay. The most important phase. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> during the discovery phase, uh, you discover a location. So your people have telescopes, and they're just looking at stuff, being like, hey, that's a thing. You should yeah. go figure it out. Quadrant. Uh, and they don't, they don't wait. They're just like, we found another thing. You should have already finished the first thing. Um, <laughs> so uh, during the discover phase, you discover one location, which means we draw one card from the deck and put it out in front of us. Uh, and during phase one, and this is phase one because we've just started, um, continue discovering until there are at least two locations in play. Okay, so you're done discovering. Uh, we are done discovering. Um, to discover a location, draw it from the deck, put mm -hmm. it face up. Uh, so, unlike Dungeon, they're not face down doors, you know what's out there, and you have to split your efforts across them as, uh, as you see fit. Uh, during phase two, gather, you gather the dice you're entitled to by your cards, mm -hmm. and the, the civilization cards look very similar to the hero cards in Wendic Dungeon. Yeah. They show you get certain colors of dice, mm -hmm. uh, and you're going to roll them. Okay. So, um, the Nibelwoobers, though, do something else during these phases. During phase one, they gain one progress. So um, we use all the edges of these cards, you know. But now we're going to use the backs also. Oh, okay, because you already had... Yeah. Okay, geez. The back of the One Deck Galaxy cards have one dot or two dots mm -hmm. on them. Right. And these represent progress for various things. So when the Nibelwoobers gain one progress, they tuck one card from oh. the deck showing one circle to show they've made one progress. Uh, and that's shown here on the Discover thing as okay. plus yeah. progress. Yeah. During the gather phase, if they have at least four, five progress, they're going to steal a colony from the middle. Huh. So they're just going to start ah. marching towards... That's brilliant, because they're literally... <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, yep. All right. And if there are at least four cards out here, mm -hmm. that being that you are all slow, they're going to get an extra progress. Every turn? Every oh, turn so there's four. Oh, wow. They're yeah. very okay. good at this, basically. Yeah, they, they are. Uh, and now we move on to the action phase. So uh, roll your dice. So yep. you get your okay. dice pools. Um, all of them? All, all them dice. So every turn you're going to get to roll all your dice in the uh, galaxy. Oh, okay. So you've rolled some dice. Good job. Listen, I got some uh, numbers. During the action phase, you can do any number of things on any number of places. Okay. So uh, you've got some worlds out here. Uh, and I'm actually going to... Nope, that's fine. Um... You can fill up these boxes, much like one deck dungeon boxes, uh, except that you're not filling them up to avoid damage. You're filling them up to create progress. Okay. So here on Ferris oh, so 3... so we want progress too. Yeah. So if you get uh, 7 into this large box, which is a box that can take mm -hmm. any number of yellow dice, um, you can get 1 progress tucked under that card. Okay. If you get 6 progress, the number in the lower left, you get to claim the colony like you would loot in one deck dungeon. Oh, oh but fun. we have to decide which one, which which one, one of us yeah, gets right. it. Yeah. Um, and oh, so the fourteen is going to give us two product. Pro right. Okay, cool. And furthermore, it's going to give you two progress on one card, mm -hmm. which means that you're going to reshuffle slower, which is important because when you reshuffle, the Nibelubers are going to get a progress. Yeah, a because that's what they do. They might. Yeah. Um, so we so we want to so these are more like campaigns. We're not defeating a single slime. Right. Right. Like we are putting ourselves. You're establishing yeah. an empire. Yeah. Oh man, but the trouble is that these are all yellows. Neither of us, Neither of us are, are strong in yellow. Are. Can um, we still do the mechanic where we switch dice for a different color? Uh, yes, you can always create uh, a black die by spending two dice. Uh, the other thing you can do is you have these two cards next to you, mm -hmm. the research lab and the fleet logistics card. Sure. So one of the things the One Deck Dungeon has is a system where low dice are generally bad. Yeah. Um, but here, uh, if you can assemble two dice that are in a row, you can get one science progress under your research lab, or if you make a run of three, even if it's one, two, three, you can get two progress under here on your research lab. Uh, and these give you science points. As you can see, Ferris four 
for four science, you can get oh, three progress. Oh, so you just use your science points? Oh, okay. So that's... if you, you spend three progress from here, you get three progress there. Okay. Uh, and you are creating fleets. Okay. And uh, What is the, yeah, what is this? Well, chestnut. Oh, uh, this is because it's upside down. Oh. You should be at fleet level one. Okay. <laughs> I didn't actually uh, do that. Holy you were research level one? Yeah. Shit. Uh, you are consuming pairs. So a pair of ones is worth a ship. Or a trio of ones, or twos, or threes, or whatever you want, is worth two ships. Um, so right now, if I did this, there... That would get you two progress in that card, uh, which both represent fleets. Uh, fleets and science are important for one other thing. When you claim a card as loot, yeah. there's a cost of one fleet per world you've already got, or one science per tech you've mm -hmm. already got. Uh, so that's okay, what you're... So, he's, so is he actually... So the fleet logistics... Does he does he have a different way of playing the game? Yeah, I, so I you're getting science, labs. you're getting... Uh, oh, you're combining shit. your efforts. <coughs> so what, no. is, what is the... Sorry, what does the fleet do again for us? Uh, in, fleet, in some big? cards will show Oh, it's just going to say we need fleets. Um, okay, yeah. But also, when you're getting <coughs> new cards, you're going to spend fleets and science to pay for them. Okay, and... Okay, so each little thing here is worth one ship. Right. Uh, and then you can upgrade those, like you would upgrade experience levels in Dungeon by accumulating population. Uh, <laughs> so you need, you need six progress to claim this for its uh, tech or its colony. Yep. But if you get to three progress, you can just take this as population, get it off the board, and be halfway towards the six population you need to get to level two on your fleet logistics card. Whoa, this is deep. This is... This this is, is Way more, this is but wild. also awesome. <laughs> this is whacked out. Okay. So okay. here you go. You uh, you have rolled your dice. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, and the skills. Um, you have uh, technologies. Yeah. So instead, instead of potions, instead of potions, you have morale cube. cubes. Yeah. And you get one morale cube per turn to oh. spend on your skills. So you can use either of your two skills each turn. Can they stack? Uh, you can only use each one once per turn. No, no, I'm saying, like, next turn, can I have two? No, no, you, you just refresh. So, so you need to use them. Use, so you use have to use Yeah, them. use okay. it or lose it. Okay, so you've got triple fives, and that's you developing a fleet. Mm -hmm. And none of these ships, none of these cards out here right now really want yeah. that. <coughs> no, I but the, I, 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 I could switch. Hand. Yeah, so check this out. So that thing, so Paris 3, to be claimed, needs six progress total. Mm -hmm. And I can, if I can, if I can create three dice straights... I mean, I can generate a lot of potions pretty quickly, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. But can I help him in that or no? Yes. So yeah, yeah. Uh, you can send over dice. The trick is at least one die from you has to be used in the research. Ah. He can't just send over a whole sort of thing. No, no, no. people are like, guys, we, we got this. Yeah. yeah we'll yeah, take yeah. a little bit of help. Yeah, exactly. uh, and the same with fleets. At least one of your dice has to be part of each fleet action. Okay, this is okay. great. All right, here. So, so we got to come after this shit. I mean, to my mind... Uh, Do we want to get this off the table as quick as possible? I think that we can. Per, uh, per, uh, Ferris, that is. Ferris 3. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a Ferris? Okay. Um, so, I mean, I've got a couple. I mean, I can... I've got a 6 yellow, and you have a... 2 yellow. Yeah, so you can use the normal... That's one. That gets us one, but... What what is it? One two three. we need for... Yeah, yeah, I mean, so... Any run. Any run of three. And so, do I have, do I have a way to track... Well, if I say, oh, uh, you'll actually be tucking cards under these as progress. Oh, hey, I can send over this blue one. One, two, three. Yes, that you completes could. that. Yes, okay. you could. So you do that. So you you spend these dice. They come back to the dice pool. Yeah. Uh, and then you take two cards off the deck to represent your two science progress here. Exactly. And each of those can be spent as if it were a science speaker, uh, any place else in the game. Amazing. Now in this case. I wouldn't just turn one of these around to be two? No, because it's actually important that... Uh, oh, so, so using uh, it as this resource. Yeah, your level two one actually gives you... The duel. The duel, oh, wow. which saves it's you a card. Even down to that level. Yeah. All so right. right now we have two of these. You have two of those. Correct, yeah. so we so need two more. two more. Yeah, Remember yeah. you can use your skills to do things too. Yeah, exactly, but, but ultimately... Uh, I mean, next turn... Yeah, this will still be out here. It's not going anywhere. That's still going to be out here. Yeah. Right? Okay, so I got... Oh, you got fours. Ooh, actually, hold on. Here. Why don't I give you two you, sixes? No, no. And you can get two progress on your fleet, because eventually we will need them. Right, but what we could do... So I could give you... You have a five there? I do. I can rotate this down to a four, and do you have a six? I do. So I can bring this down to a four. 
Oh, you're saying like we can generate the four potions in one turn. Exactly. If I use this, boom, there's your four, five, six. Oh, you know what? So there's it, the four potions. It Correct. feels good. Here's four two potions. More. So I'm you're going to immediately four. spend them. And this actually gives a dual and a single. So uh, these go to the discard pile. Yep. And then uh, these get tucked under Ferris 3 so that we've made three progress. Uh, and you still have <coughs> dice left. You can do other things with. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what? What you have? Uh, so worst comes to worst, I can switch these two here, do that, and get another uh, single, if we wanted to, or I could, or I could do it on the other planet. But we're getting close to this. Yeah, yeah. Now with this six here, uh, I could take one of those fives. We can do five, six, five, six, and mm-hmm. generate two more potions. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Why don't we do that? Wait, five, six, five, six. Just so you have oh, five, yeah. five. Two. I'm just thinking of another another threshold. Yeah. Oh no, but well, you'd be I, stuck I because I can't do that yeah. because one of these dice on here always has to be right, mine. Right. right. So, is there anything that you can do with just five, six? I can get us one more success. Yeah, because you can make a black oh, five. Oh, that's right. That's that's what you should do. But that would be my whole. Either way, we're down to the yeah. We're, we're up to four. We're down to that. The that got cities. four. What are, what are they called good. again? Progress. Progresses. Yeah, so um, you're going to do that, yeah. and then so one more progress here, mm-hmm. and then all your dice are spent up, so the turn's over. So uh, during cleanup phase, all dice get returned, morale come back. Mm-hmm. Now, what, but what do these dicks do during cleanup phase? Uh, <laughs> if... Hold on. <laughs> Let me remember the rules to my own game. Yeah. Um, if the Nibelubers have three colonies already, they'll flip to phase two. Oh, okay, so they, they have, have a, none. They have a mega boss. Yeah, yeah. This is a... Oh, so the, the one, dark. Oh, the one thing we haven't discussed is how we defeat this. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so uh, your goal is to amass fifty value worth of colonies and technologies. Oh, like a VP before. Technology. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you essentially get scored on how well you did against this adversary. Gotcha. And what? Where do the value points come in? Just the uh, research? they're all the the, the research numbers. numbers? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, that, so we'd be six toward fifty. Right? <coughs> yeah. Right. Yep. All right. Uh, so that's the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, so new turn. We're going to discover a location. Oh, right, because it keeps getting added. In there the are already at least two, so we don't add another one. Um, and I then say we're we can leave Ferris. Yes. Gather dice. Can. Here are some dice. You get your dice nope. back. So we're going to clean up I'm going to make two Ferris. puddles over here. Okay. 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 Uh, and you both have your morale cube back that you can spend again on mm-hmm. skills. So we should do that next time. Yeah, totally. Uh, right. And then we're going to go, they get a progress because it's phase one. So well, that's, I did, and that, that's, what, that's what got us. Like, that's yeah. so much fun that we're... Mingling those back and forth. Okay, now this is good. So this is a planet that we can actually We have dice that can succeed on this. Right. Yeah, so now, what uh, is this little So the SS Sunlight's ability says you cannot place on the bottom row unless the top is unlocked each turn. So you have to spend I've got a to make. fleet so you just have to, to get spend in. Fleets to get there. Yeah. <laughs> the SS Sunlight. Uh, but once you spend that fleet, you can bang that bottom one as many times as you want. Um, okay. Let's get I, I think we need to get rid of Ferris. Uh, we can. Yeah. What's your mix? <clears throat> I've got a four yellow so far. Okay. Well, I mean your full mix. I've got one, two, six, six, six. The number of the beast. Oh, I got a one, a three. I got a three. Okay. And you have a two. Yep. So who was that three? Whoop. So that's two. So that's two more fleets or two more science. Two more yes, science. What do you have? I have a four and a five. Do you have a six? I do. There There's two more science. All right. So with two more science, that we get it. Five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so two more science. Uh, so it all gets spent. So all that goes to the discard pile. So we add three more progress. Well, yeah. What if you over progress? You have extra. Okay. Um, which means you can now take this. Yeah. To take this, uh, you actually need to have one uh, fleet or one science to claim it. Uh, the ability of the Nebel Woopers is that. For each icon they've got, they increase the cost by one. Oh, so if it's zero... It's normally, it would normally be zero, but now it is one. So you need one fleet to take this as a colony, which would be more dice, or one science to take it as a tech. Which, what is uh, uh, that little icon? That's saying plus one ship for every card you've got here. Oh, okay. So the cost goes up. The more colonies you get, the more they each gotcha. cost. Gotcha, cool. Okay, so you've got... Ooh, I got doubles. I can get us... Yeah, there you go. So use that to get a ship... So you get a ship. 
Yeah. But do we want to use the ship to take this, or do we want to? Well, we want we have this thing ready to go. Yeah, let's use a ship. Let's get it out. Let's use a ship to take. Okay. It. So you get that ship, and then you immediately spend it. Okay. Um, uh, and then you get to tuck this as an item, and all these progress go to the discard pile. Okay. Whoa. Now, so now I gonna, get two. Um, I can you use get both of my two morale cubes every turn, which is nicer. So, but there's never a point to getting a third, right? Oh, well, unless you're getting you get more attack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was going to roll this like a <laughs> dice. That's not helpful. So, uh, but I am going to use this to re-roll up to two of my dice. Mm -hmm. I like that already. Okay. I'm just trying to see if there's something else I can pull out here. So technically speaking, if we had another, if we had another ship. If we had another uh, yeah, we could unlock and spaceship. We could unlock, and then mm -hmm. I could use uh, these two dice here right. to get one progress on right. there. Uh, but you are a little bit stuck on this turn. You're not wrong. That... You're not wrong. Indeed, <laughs> indeed, you're right. That is that is what has happened. Right. So now we go back. Uh, so now that's it. Um, there's not enough out there, so we clean up and uh, we go on to the next turn. So they get a progress. They now have three, so they're creeping towards yeah, so stealing four. a colony. They can just snatch one of these. They just now, snatch one of them. What those. are the rules for determining which one they snatch? Uh, they will take the most valuable. The most. They'll take the one with the least progress that is the most valuable. Okay. They won't there take you one go. you have progress on, but. Uh, ho ho! So and, and then and so twenty two here. Yes, that's a lot. Wait! Wh whoa! <laughs> okay. Whoa! So alpha is, is some kind of a field. It's a it's a sort of destroyed planet. What are the special rules? Up top. Uh, it says, if you have no morale left over, each die you place on here is reduced by one. So if you've already used all your skills... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jerks. Yeah, all right. it's, it's not a nice now, card. But, so that 22 has to be generated in the space of one turn, right? Yeah, you need to stack a bunch of cards on there. It's like a dungeon boss. Uh, boss. Okay. As many dice as you want, but... Okay, you ready? Okay. Um, let's see. I've been yep. rolling nothing but sixes. Right. So, okay, there we go. Yeah, two, three. What do you got on your pigs? Yay. Two, three, and two. I got two. ten. I got thirteen. But now is when your skills are going to come into use. Oh yeah. Oh, actually, that's true. Thirteen. Oh shit! Do I want to re-roll these or? Well, here, watch this. Pinks? Watch this. I can use this white cube mm -hmm. to re-roll one of my pinks. Mm -hmm. well, remember, if you're out of morale cubes and you try and place here, you're going to lose one off every die you put down. If each, each, each of us individually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you have that you can do with your morale cubes? <laughs> I can re-roll up to two of my dice. Or my partner can change a die to a three or a four, but you're already... Uh, fours. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. That's, so that would be 18 with yeah. those two fours, because I have a 10 here. Plus three, or plus five. Yeah, yeah. 22. Done. Yeah, then we should do that, right? Yep. So those, those become fours. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that about you. I've always said so. <laughs> 22. Okay. Right? What's that? Uh, yeah, 4, 8... And the 3 as well. That's 10, 14, 18, 21, 22. Yep, there you go. So 22. So you get 4 progress down there, and they're good progress. They're the doubles. The premium progress. The premium progress. Does something yucky happen when you get to the bottom of this deck? We reshuffle and they get an extra progress. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. On, the, on the reshuffle phase, that's a game event. Wow. Okay, so we were able to snatch. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, we, we are actually built to get planets like that fast. Yeah. <coughs> so, I mean, next turn you'll have a bunch more pink dice. You might be able to finish it. Right. Let's hope. Because it's, it's the one with the least, it's the highest value, least progress. Uh, that's the one they steal? Highest value with least progress. So, yeah, they'll, they won't steal this. They can't. Right. Yeah, all right, that's great news. Ah, shit. Here, so, so what else do we do here? Damn, I could have, I could have, I have a ship and I could have unlocked this, but we don't have what, what it takes to get in. Well, let's see. I have a three. Your ships and science carry from turn to turn, too. Oh, oh yeah, do? totally. Yeah. No, here. No, this, oh, okay. This, yeah, yeah. this is okay. This is okay. Watch this. Because now that we've already spent the 22 on there, mm -hmm. I can spend this yes. and we don't get any negative outcomes, right? Yes, right. exactly. So I can re roll up to two of my dice or uh, I can re roll a pink. I can't do it right now because I don't have any, but you can re roll a non pink die. Or you can increase a non-pink die by up to two. Okay, so are you so you can get a three. Ah, but it would only be on my blue, which we need. 
Yeah, but you already have a blue. We, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. And I need to get. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Are, are you ready for the ultra scam? No, uh, no, no. <laughs> I can increase this. I can increase this blue up to uh, two, right? With your uh, tech? Yeah, well, no, with your little ability, right? Yeah, you can increase it uh, a non-pink die by two. Yes. I only want to increase it by one. Yep. That gets us the ship to get in. Okay. Yes. Then. I am going to re-roll this die. And you would... Boom. And then your your blue gets us a... Oh, which one caught on that? Yeah, so you wind up with one progress on the SS Sunlight. That was a lot of work for one progress. I know. It was. Why do I, why do I feel like a deity? It was, I love um, this game. Yeah, this is, this is a much more puzzly, thinky version of Dungeon. Well, exactly. Like, but like I say, that's where we got. Like, yep. eventually yeah, yeah. that's what One Deck Dungeon yeah. was for us, was a really sophisticated multiplayer puzzle. Uh, so... Next turn. Next turn. So uh, all the dice and tokens come back. Yep. Uh, so now so these they get dicks... a progress. They're at four. Not quite yep. there yet. So they're going to snatch six. No, yeah, they get when they get to five. Oh, it's five. Oh, okay, so we but, got some time. Um, there are four worlds out now, so okay. they're going to get a second to progress. Ah, uh, fuckers. Uh, now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. All right, ready? All right. So first things first, you get your yep. ding a -ling, and then we grab some, the choice, dice. some choice die, and then we go hog wild. And remember, so, and we need a ship or a potion... We need a ship or some science yeah. to, to even claim, claim a planet because of these. Oh, dicks. that's right. So don't 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 forget about them. Never forget that they are dicks. Never forget. So I've got some I've got, got some, some sick flavor over dice. here, kid. I got. What are you looking at? I got ten right here. Ten there. I've if got. Can, if you can back me up. I've got uh, eleven. So twenty-one. Boom. Done. Twenty-two. All right. Twenty-two more. All right. So that's four more progress. Which. <clears throat> can claim it as long as we can get, and we yep. will. Watch this. I'm going to exchange this one and this two for one science. Yeah, so uh, the sci the tech version of this is roll a black die, uh, and the colony version of this is a yellow and a pink die and a morale. Oof. I don't know. Roll a black die is pretty good. Rolling a black die is very But it, do it does cost you your morale, right? Or no? It does. Down there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I'd rather hear. We can get we can get to that. I can just start building up toward that morale. Is there a way I can get? Is there a way to do double? Oh, oh shit! What's it gonna take to get you into Hold a morale on. die? I'm gonna today. I am going to do this. You may change a die to a three or a four. You're gonna change that to a three. I'm gonna get a ship. So now you can take this as a ship. Ooh. So you're gonna get this as a colony. You're gonna get a bunch more dice. Yum, delicious dice. You know what? It feels good. Yeah, that was. Ooh, good. you got good. dice out of. Oh, you got a morale out of that too. No, no, no. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, yeah. Very, it's, very wholesome. That's what you, you needed. Another, another morale. Two yeah, morale. True. And now is you're like, up to 14 points worth of stuff. Nice. It's, it's like you've already won. I think I yeah, right? have one 50. science on this. Yes, you should have one science left over. Okay, I was just trying. And to that's sure. all the dice. Yeah, <sighs> beautiful. Okay, all right. Well, here, here. Let's let's just get. Let's just do one more turn. Let's just do another turn. Let's just do. Don't don't take this from me. Let's just do. Ready? New turn. Okay. So uh, discover a location. Mm -hmm. So another location comes out. Um, Right. So now this dick. They have five. Yeah. So they're going to spend five progress. Okay. To conquer a colony, and they're going to take the least progress. Going to be one of these that is the most valuable. So they're going to take this. Or can. Well, what happens Four when six. they take this? Is uh, they're actually a hero too. What? So um, they they they're getting stats, and what these stats mean are um, each one of these energies makes your text cost an extra science. So your basic tech is now going to cost two science. And, and their morale down here, for every two morale down there, they get an extra progress when the deck gets reshuffled. So they're leveling up as they take Our the colonies shit. out of the middle. Which just makes things worse for you. Wow. Because they're bitch. out there just doing terrible things. So, so, they, so they've made it more expensive to get? Yes. So every, every tech you get will cost an extra science now. Oh, so you you need two. So you you have to have you two. Need two, 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 two
All right, well, let's try, let's try, let's yeah, try let's one more get, round yeah, against this, this yep, yep, yep. new Satan. Now that we both have two techs, yeah. we should be able to pull some pretty crazy fucking mentalism out of these uh, die. You ready? Yeah, let's get this. Let's get your dice pool. Roll some dice. Yeah. You should know this. My dice pool now includes as many as two yellow die. <laughs> well, hey, listen, you got some pink all up in there. No, I got no problem. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! I like oh, these wow. rolls. You what do you got on your rolling. blues? Pretty nice. Two. Okay. Good rolls. Good rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so let's see what we got here. So, is there anything that we can just, like, get, just go sick on? Well, let's look at the, so this is a, f we need four to capture that and five to capture that. You've got two yellows right there you can use. I've got a ton of pinks. And we can start switching for yellows, Wait, we maybe? We can, we can. So that's a mm. four and a two. I, I think that we can get crazy. We can go nuts on this, is what you're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh yeah, easily. Yeah, what are we talking six. about? So what's the, what's the special? It says odd dice cannot be placed here. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. It's like you made it and printed it now. <laughs> yeah, I actually wrote that at, uh, right now. I'm chortled mightily? All right. Uh, no, that's okay. Now, is that is it true that that is bad for me? Yes. Wait, do you... Oh, wait, hold... Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to adjust this up by one, and you may change a die to a three or a four. Mm. Well, how about what a four? Excellent plan. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with a four. Okay. So we should be able to aggressively uh, go hog-ass wild. On this purple, right? Mm -hmm. Hog ass wild. Yep. Now I can re-roll up to two of my dice with this. I can also re-roll a pink die, and my partner can increase a non-pink die by up to two. Okay. Is there any? Does that excite you at all? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could almost. Uh, you could try we, and we get to that thirteen. No, we can't it's though. It's so much. We, 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 we don't. We don't black dice remember. Oh, that's true. But it, that's a lot. That's true. Mm. Well, so in order to, in order I say, to, I say, we try and just get this right. We can get this right away. We mm -hmm. need four okay. points. I can do two. You can do two. Well, I can do one because it, you can't place odd. Oh shit! Maybe you're gonna re-roll. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll up to two of my dice. Okay. This isn't gonna work. It's totally gonna work. It, it half worked. There's six. That's pretty good. Um, Do you have a four over yeah, there? Yeah. Uh, any other color? I have a four yellow. Okay, so we'll put these two fours together and you get a black four. True. So there's two, two, a two, one, two, three, All right. four. Now, so that card's claim. We, so now we have got, to claim the uh, card. You got four single progress on there. Yeah. Okay, so now we got to figure out how to get. What well, should one. be okay? It should be okay. I have one. I have one science already. Okay. Oh yes, yes, yes. And so I can gonna... generate another science. Done. Mm -hmm. With one two. So oh, there's nothing left. I guess we'll have to reshuffle this deck. <laughs> oh no, it, it, this is terrible. Dude, I know exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be. The oh, it evil. looks like looks like they got a, a progress because you shuffle the deck, and then a second progress. What? Because they have two oh, morale. No. And now you can have your progress. Thank you. Um, it feels good. But now I'm going to immediately expend both right. of these progress. Shit, yeah, get that. This is, a, this is a great card for you. So you're going to get that as a tech. So tuck that under the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this is cool. If you haven't played this game before, so you can see how the each UI of the sides fantastic. of this. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's a card game that has like a UI. So the last one that I did over here, because, because I got it with ships, it went over here as a right, colony. Right. Because I'm taking this as a tech because I got it with science. Yep. That's a really whacked out distinction, dude. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I put this down here, and this becomes exactly like either of my yeah. uh, plum plum abilities. Yeah. And a special bonus here. You're still in the action phase. You could use that right now. What does it do? What does it do? Oh, wow. So I can roll a yellow, and I can also increase a yellow. Oh, if it says roll a yellow... I, 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 it's you, great. Yeah, grants yeah, yeah. a yellow. Oh, that's, we never, we did, never that. did that. Yeah. We assumed it meant we no, assumed no, no, it meant no. roll one yeah. of your own. You got new. This is exquisite. Oh, see that that's this is why it's important <laughs> to always give the things back and, and pick right, them back right. out. 
So I'm going to roll this. And now I can increase <laughs> a yellow die by up to three. I've got a three on mine. you got a two on yours. Actually, check. Oh, no, we have no pink left. By up to three. By up to three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, what do we do with it? Oh, well. Just eat it. Yeah. Make more science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can make more science, yeah. I can make science constantly. I'm going to put this over here. Place this right here. Place that on here. More science. More science. Okay. Super cool. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> break it down for us yes. and the gathered throng. Right. So, this thing is going to flip yeah, to so phase it's gonna, two. It's going to keep gathering more things and get more strong. And when it starts a turn with at least three colonies, it's going to flip over to phase two. Uh, in phase two, two mm -hmm. things change. One, when you're discovering, you keep discovering until there's at least three systems in play. So this, oh, this starts it's moving hard, yeah. faster. Oh, okay. Um, but also, uh, they do some slightly different things. Uh, one, they'll trigger the end of the game when they have six colonies. Um, but uh, their population grabbing also becomes a little harsher for the costs. Yeah. Um, now, what's interesting is, like I said, there are different bosses, like yeah, yeah. Black Dungeon. So this is the so this hungry, is the hungry nebula, nebula, right? So the hungry nebula is completely different. It doesn't accumulate cards or anything. Mm -hmm. It just eats everything. Oh, does it go through and just eat colonies or planets? It sure does. So every turn, it just gathers a, uh, a progress, and um, oh, if there are four more progress on the card during the gather phase. Um, you add one more progress here for every colony mm -hmm. that's in play. Uh, so it's going to have like six or seven colonies no. there. At this point, the players can choose to spend one, three, five, or seven science to remove progress from the card. One, two, three, or four science uh, remove. One, two, one, three, five, or seven oh, so science You basically have to this. keep this thing at bay with your, like, your best thinking? Because whatever's left there after that gets removed from the game. And it set the, aside. It eats the game. It eats the game. <laughs> so the deck gets smaller and ah! smaller ah! every time it goes through because the Hungry Nebula is just sucking worlds into Literally. the abyss. What? And, and the game and, ends and, and when so the deck that, is gone. I was going to say, and that, and that, but that reshuffle, so what happens on reshuffle? Because it gets the progress. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so cool. God. So uh, Insula is a section of the galaxy which is bordered by a big, vast emptiness. So the, the race of Insula can't explore very far because there's just this very big void. It's and this like is the moat. story of why, yeah. of why, why that, that might be. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Wow. This okay. is that fantastic. Is one <laughs> well, that's hot. And this is like, when's this? This is like So we're going to kickstart this in the spring. Oh, okay. So uh, you're we're gonna keep, probably so going to kickstart this one at PAX East. Awesome. All kickstarters at PAX from now on. <laughs> why not? Why not? You would not be the first to yeah. attempt this. Um, I don't okay, know. that's cool. So basically, just border those by about six months. Uh, yep. You know, release the, release the prequel later, which is the a very tasteful approach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, one yeah. one has seen that before. We, we we have seen that work from time to time. No, it, does. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. Julia, Thousand One Odyssey is really sweet. I had a very good time playing it. Chris, so this glad. is also bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Precious Chat, uh, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this sponsored stream. Um, I really, really like having you guys around. Um, obviously, you're welcome to come back any old time you would like to show us. Uh, it's a tradition. We'll be back. Top yeah, right. secret. Top secret business. Crazy shit. I love it. Thank you so much for being a guest uh, here in the studio. Thanks to the AV crew uh, for making it work. And uh, chat. We'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye, everybody.